you know, we've, we, we talked about this, Jim. This is one of our favorite things and something we really want to do strongly. Um, really support, really identify, really help out in any way we can publicize young entrepreneurs. Thanks. And they don't even have to be a young person, but just new into the business of entrepreneur uh, entrepreneurship. That's right. Is that a word? Entrepreneurship. Okay. Word. Like um, Todd was right. Todd grabbed his mic. He's ready to help me bail out of that yeah. one. Entrepreneurship. Yeah. And um, and we got a young lady here that when I was with Veterans Village, she was a resident there. And I have been so impressed with her in every way. Her name is Fanny She. And she owns Uni Uni Bubble Tea in Appleton, which is a phenomenal place. We're going to talk about that. But you have to know Fanny's whole backstory to know where she came from, what she's done, and how she got to where she is right now. Fanny, welcome. little background, if you don't mind. Of course. Oh, do where do you want me to start? It's, First I, I generation. Go yes. ahead. Yes. So I actually was born and raised in China. And I came to the United States when I was like a teenager. I came here for school at first. Um, I was an international student. So, but that time that you cannot actually legally work in the United States as inter international school students. So, um, what happened is my dad passed away while I was in school. So, wow. we are encountered some financial issues with the family. I um, decided that I have to be more independent and support myself. And that is why that um, I have heard that if you join the military, you can get reimbursed for your tuition fees. So I did join the army, not for some glory reasons. <laughs> I did join for the tuition fees. And I joined as have the thought of being a reserve soldier mm -hmm. where I can, you know, go to school, uh, continue my school while that um, go to the training like once a month. Mm -hmm. But. That was not the case. <laughs> I joined while um, Afghanistan war and Iraqi war happening at the same time. So actually, I was deployed right after my training uh, for, for a one-year deployment to Afghanistan. And I think we're the last rotation to do one-year deployment in Afghanistan. That and you were in, just by, <laughs> ironically, when I embedded over there, we're at the same base, Camp Nathan Smith right. in Kandahar City. Right. Right. And yeah, Kandahar was a crazy place. It was the birth of the Taliban, mm -hmm. and and um, it was strange the way they looked at women of over there. What was that like? You being a female in the heart of Taliban country? Well, Kandahar, like we, the, the camp is right in the center, right. of Kandahar city, and we do have workers coming. We have um, the local police coming. We have bazaar where people come in to yep. sell stuff there too, and. The funny thing is our camp have the only swimming pool I know. in the whole of Afghanistan. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> and then sure, we're going to use that swimming pool. And I was in my physical training outfit, you know, the, the uniform, and it's have shorts, right? Yeah. They don't usually see shorts uh -uh. a lot over there. So the whole time you're swimming in a swimming pool, you have these guys just around the building staring at you. Yeah. Well, I was, <laughs> when I was, um, I went up on top of the wall. Where, where the mm -hmm. machine guns were for the, you know, overlooking the city, mm -hmm. basically. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was taking pictures. I want to take pictures of the downtown of Kandahar City. And the guy I was with, the interpreter, he jumped right in front of the camera. It, and I'm like, what's wrong? What's mm -hmm. wrong? He got all angry because there were women walking down the street. Oh. And you could not take pictures of women. And so I've always said, what would it be like for the female troops from America being over there? It had to be like being a third world country for you guys. Right, huh? right. And then... Um, being me, sometimes they sense I speak with the accent. Yeah. They will talk to me, asking me where you come from. And it's it's just um, how they're willing to learn from you, too, right. at the same time. So right. there, there's some open-minded people. But how, too. how do you think that your military experience of being in the middle of a war zone, how do you think that helped you once you came back and had to stir up the courage mm -hmm. to go into a business by yourself? Okay, that's interesting because I was a behavioral health specialist mm -hmm. when I was in the army. So basically, I work with social workers, psychologists, and psychiatrists to deal with soldiers who have mental health issues, PTSDs, or anything that can interfere with your completing the mission. And we are belonging to a combat stress control team. So whenever there's a KIA or a traumatic event, we go out missions to actually do the debrief. We do group counselings and individual counselings. <clears throat> and then, of course, we do preventions too. 
And、uh, during the time when I was in Afghanistan, I find my heart, where my heart is, it's actually helping the veterans and help them, people that suffer from mental health issues. And、um, after I came back from Afghanistan, myself have some mental health issues too.、Mm-hmm. <clears throat> I did did talk to a social worker, but I realized the social worker doesn't have any military service experiences, so I didn't really feel the connection. And with my experience, I feel that I can make more connection with the soldiers because I experience with what they did, right? And I have actually seen what they did, right? And we can find more common languages. Can I ask you? Were you there the night it got attacked? Oh yes. Okay. It was a. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. And, th- and then there's, you have no idea how many memorial service I have attend. In Afghanistan, there's so many, too many,、yeah. I would say. Um, but um, after so after I came back from Af- Afghanistan, I decided to continue my school in psychology, and had my heart set for、uh, the career of、um, healing mental health issues and help advocating for veterans, which is fantastic, which is just phenomenal. Yeah, which until today I'm still doing too. Right, right. <laughs> And then、um, after I finished my school,、um, I continued my school in Master of Social Work in UWGB. Actually, while、uh, my time in the school it was COVID,、yeah. um, I did work with kids before um, for um, for a while. Then I had my internship in the Veterans Home in King. Okay. So I did work with elderly veterans. Okay. And during that time.、Um, After COVID happened, I lost my job. Okay.、Um, of course. Yep. And that period, I was thinking, you know, maybe instead of staying home, I can do something else. Okay. So that's the tea shop actually <laughs> popped in my mind. And、uh, of course, I talk about I was born and raised in China, and co- coffee is like a big culture here,、sure. but tea is the coffee in China.、Okay. Like you grow up with it. My mom grew up with it, and it's a, have a full history in China. Or go back to thousands of years of the tea culture. And it's not、yeah. simply just a drink, but it's a whole culture right, over there. Right. And while I was in school in the social work, we learn about cultural competency and cultural awareness. But a lot of students are only learning about it in the books. And I'm thinking maybe I should switch my career. To actually promoting the culture and advocating for culture. I mean, the culture I'm talking about is not only you know which country you're from coming、right. from. Essentially, you know, being in the military, being a veteran is another culture that background you have, and that that's something that we have to be aware of. So, I、um, opened that tea shop with the theme of Asian pop culture. Oh. With the goal of you know celebrating another culture and bring something new in this area, and I do believe food and drink is the easiest way to learn about the culture. And you picked the perfect place because Appleton does such a great job with such a big variety、mm-hmm. of foods and ethnic foods. They 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 and, really do a great job in、mm-hmm. that. And College Avenue with the university there, it it does it it fits, and I think people are looking、mm-hmm. to learn. And you make a good point.、Um, it, 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 even with food trucks, I mean, it's an exposure to a different culture,、yes. and you can learn it through food. And then, if you can incorporate some music, and as、uh, you obviously know the history better than、mm-hmm. anybody, but、um, what an experience for someone to try that. And we are very, very coffee here, and、yes. uh, tea is.、Uh, I gotta believe it's a little bit healthier. Yes, and then it does open the whole customer base because coffee、right. is more for adults and morning, but. You know, with tea, you can drink it in the morning, at night, for younger people. If you're three, you can still drink it. And you know, my son is eight years old, and he's the state where he knows about a little bit about other countries, the country names,、uh, but not full picture of what it is. But the easiest way for him to learn is the relation of the food.、Right. If you、oh. think about Mexico, what do you think about、right. tacos? It's、you、a、know. universal language, isn't it? Yes. We, we we talk about that here. I mean, we, we he's everything from pasties to some、right. German food that I like, and um, and 
what are, how nice of you to bring that because I don't think there's a real strong presence of Chinese tea well, especially here. first generation right that's mm -hmm. the part that I think is phenomenal I really do I mean this isn't like my great 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 grandma was from you know wherever mm -hmm. and you are you lived it being from China coming to America serving your country and again not just serving going into the heart of the war zone in Kanduhar and and dealing with those people as you said going to all the memorial services and being attacked and it's just remarkable and coming back and then you know losing your job for what you you thought you were trained for and to start something brand new just brand new is just remarkable i'm so impressed with you I, seriously yeah. yeah i think there's a relation with social work and what i'm doing right now because <clears throat> you know um dei the diversity mm -hmm. equity and uh, inclusion is such controversial topic right mm -hmm. now and then oftentimes when we talk about diversity we're talking about the traumas the barriers you know first generation generation immigrants how hard is it to get started in this country but instead i want to do a different different approach is the celebration part <clears throat> when you think about china you think about something fun and tasty mm -hmm. instead of just the trauma the barriers mm -hmm. so that relationship in your brain can or you know something good is from the cult a different culture and you know that way you can truly promote the culture and you know one thing we want to talk about with tea though much of your tea is cold tea it's drinks we have hot tea too. yeah i know you know but i'm just saying it's like you know what i mean just it's not just if somebody says well i don't know if i like tea but you, they gotta try some of your your oh your yeah dra your variety. Fruit drinks if, oh my god if you're not you're not a tea person you'll love our that's tea. what i mean that's right. exactly what i mean you don't have to be a tea person to go there i just want to read some of the texts we're getting fanny wow thank you for your service fanny love uni uni the staff is so nice another one wow this is such an interesting story another text this is awesome what a great guest sharing a beautiful story love it i will be vi visiting her thank you so much fanny um starting a small business is is risky it's hard to yes right and you did that tell us what was the impetus to do that i mean you wanted to share your culture there's a few ways you could do that but was it difficult was the support there from appleton or was it your family who who got you or was it actually um i did actually i did get a lot of support from the veterans uh, community isn't that nice yes because <clears throat> when i first had the business idea um i was interning in the veteran services office in uwgb my supervisor lane back then oh yeah and, absolutely yes helped me to assemble these people this rural bar where you know there's cows and chickens walking around to taste test my tea in the rural bar where people have no idea what it is wow so it, you know through those tasting events i think those are the person actually re like represent wisconsin well nobody <laughs> nobody supports veterans more than other veterans yes and that's been so great in north I, I don't know other parts of state but northeast wisconsin that's all i've seen is incredible support veteran to veteran we get center quick break you have to stay we're not gonna let you go <laughs> no a couple more questions fanny she <laughs> yeah. uni uni bubble tea in appton we got to talk about where it is and and all sorts of things i got another text does she ever give lectures anywhere you're a big hit right here on the show fanny it's wonderful <laughs> having you here Love it. we got send a quick break back after this Welcome back, Minor on the Mayor here, 97.9 FM, WGBW, 98.3 FM, WISS, and of course, the Civic Media app, 33 in Green Bay, 34 in Afton, 34 in Oshkosh. We have a fascinating guest, Fanny Shi, joining us, uh, Afghanistan, U.S. Army veteran, uh, Uni Uni Bubble Tea, and we were talking about something that just piqued Jim's interest, where it's like, oh my gosh, you did this exactly right. Yeah, go go because you just about jumped off your chair, Jim. <laughs> well, I, like, yes, yes, that's what people are supposed to do it. And right. we don't not, not know if people do it. There are a lot of people who want to start a business, and I mm -hmm. think that's great because Wisconsin was a little slow on entrepreneurship for a while. We're getting much better. Um, and I'm glad to hear the support that was out there from the veterans organization. There is support out there for small businesses, but small businesses very often they it's kind of uh, you know, ready fire aim, and you spend a lot of time on research and i yes, think that's I important to tell students or anyone who um, and it wasn't research sitting at your desk going no. through the computer tell us no, about no, some of the research yes, yes. Mm, of course first you have to get on the computer and yeah. learn about the insta industry you have to know the background and i think it's a most important part is that 
you know, this is something from my own culture. And I think I'm the expert of my own culture too. So when you, uh, when you are a business, you are trying to start a business, when you pitch your idea to other people, whether it's a loan officer or is someone, an investor or a customer, you have to know the story behind your business. And that is the one most important part. And then the research part, even you know, you think you are expert of the industry, you have to learn the new trends. And then the next step is real world research. So what I did is, of course, I talk about, I go to the bar and did a research. We have a bunk- bunch of drunk people that day <laughs> <laughs> and then taste our tea. And, well, <coughs> Nothing else represent Wisconsin more, right? Right, absolutely. <laughs> how did you How did you find them? Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> yeah, I just think they're sitting in a bar. And but then, that's another that's another thing about the courage aspect that we're talking about. You weren't afraid to go out there and find out what people thought and say it to your face. Yes, and we offered them free tea, and they gave us the survey form. Right. Of course, a lot of people feeling oh, it, it pairs great with rum and vodka, yeah. but that's fine. That's another good business sorry, idea in the future. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And the other part is that we test it within the family and friends. So um, before we actually open, we invited um, family and friends and their friends to come over and pretending to be mean customers. Oh, wow. So we can train our staff about, you know, how to deal with wow. customer, how to, you know, um, actually talk about the tea and recommending the tea it, to the customer. Well, it must have worked because that one text you said, wonderful staff. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I want to talk about studying the competition and um look the competition if they're successful you got to be better than them and so tell us a little bit about your research on the competitive market so uh right now bubble tea is a huge thing in larger cities i visited los angeles new york of course all the famous bubble tea places in chicago and at the same time i go to you know smaller cities actually visit the bubble tea i sit there for hours actually counting how many kind of customer have come in and what kind of tea they order and what their staff responding to the customer i record it um whenever i'm trying to apply for fundings or do the pitch um, I'm confident of right. my data. Like I know where yeah. my data come from. You were there. You gathered it. Yes, yeah. yes. I personally took the picture and counted the people. So uh, I know it's valid. It's not like I just snatch it from the internet. Right. Yes. That's that mm-hmm. is what, and it, it's 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 risky no matter what. But you've taken a lot of risk out of your business. Yes. Um. I actually this is another story that I was rejected by. 10 different banks. Yeah, that happens. Yeah. It does. It does. It's normal. It's normal. Wait till they come back and want your want, want to do yeah. business with you and after yeah. five years, then you can yeah. say, remember when you yes. were here? You know what I mean? But that happens. I mean, don't. 10 should, different banks yeah. turned you down. Yes. That, yes. You shouldn't be discouraged by that, though. I mean, that is just. She the, wasn't. Right. Yeah. And I was a startup. I, I understand sure. that. And of course, I have the barriers. Of course, a lot of veteran entrepreneur and uh, um, minority have the same barrier where you know, um, you don't have the capital, you right. don't have the collateral, and you don't have a great credit score because we're in the military, of course. Right, right. <laughs> and yeah. then you, you didn't get a chance to buy anything. Right. right. Uh, and then you don't have maybe a local housing to put on as collateral. You have a right. veteran, you just come back from home, you have nothing to start with. So those are the barriers to get fundings from you know, organizations. But I'm lucky enough that uh, Webex, actually help me get the funding mm-hmm. where they do have a program that support veterans and people from low income area and then people who cannot get traditional fundings from banks. And you you want to get you don't want to talk about it now, mm-hmm. but you've got a plan what you want to do for other minority and, and uh diversity yes. type of entrepreneurs. Yes, yes. So um right now that I'm trying to start a consulting company for minority small business or veteran businesses because we are non traditional entrepreneurs, we face barriers that other entrepreneur may not face and nobody's really addressing them. And then they do need to know the resource, the community resource about capital, the access to more capital to start their own business. And they do need education about, you know, how to overcome those barriers and how to get educated about starting a business. Too. So where were you? You've got unbelievable experience. Where'd you get educated? Where'd you go to school and what is your degree in? 
so <laughs> I was, um, I do have a bachelor degree in psychology with a minor of ABA. Um, I do have a master degree in social work. It sounds not related to right. business, no, but it, it, it definitely I, helps. I think it sounds great. Yeah, we, it definitely I think helps. that's great. Yeah. <laughs> I just want to say one thing as that's far as awesome. like you were talking about the courage to go to those other places, go to different cities, sit there and do all that stuff. And I have to think part of this is, I mean, you're, you're tough just to get to where you were before that, but you literally looked Taliban people in the eye, <laughs> didn't you? Yes. You looked them yes. right in the eye. You were this far apart from Taliban members. You did that and you didn't back down. I don't think getting rejected from a bank or something like that is all of a sudden going to make you say, oh, I can't do this. That experience, I think, is a part of it, don't you? Right, right. And then the hard part of education. You know, yeah. I, I didn't, as an entrepreneur, I did go to entrepreneurship um, classes in uh, Fox Valley Technical College. So I, I think it's it's important, you know, the you know basic of business before you get oh, started. I, I think it's an important point that even though you have your master's degree and there's some dentists that will go back to school just to learn the basics, the fundamentals yes. of business. And yes. sometimes we... We need to be reminded of uh, of that. If you and don't have that good, first, forget right? about it. That's and yeah. then she a, has both. It's, yep. it's great. A continue and learning the process. It's not yeah. like once and done because you you know we have te new technology every day. AI doing social media right. right now, so you have to go back and learn, sure. start over about marketing. The great song, yeah. Fanny. We are running out of time. I can't tell you how fascinating this has been. I want to say the word enjoyable, but it's not just enjoyable. It was just truly. Fa we're just sitting here in awe, and we're I'm not. We're not just. We don't use. No. We don't say that very often. We don't. No, that's you. You're you're very impressive, and I hope you get to consulting. I hope you get teaching because you need to share your knowledge with a lot of people here. And where exactly is your store? It's in College Avenue, eight two three West College Avenue, Suite B. Fantastic, right. beautiful location. Yes, yes, and I want to encourage all the audience listening today: try something new today. Beautiful. All right, Benny, thank you so very much. Great seeing you. Thank Don't you. Don't be a stranger, okay? Okay. All right, we're out of time. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you for being here. Great guest. My name is Mary Beckett.